Well, welcome back to CBS 2 News at 9 a.m. We've had some, some very exciting news for my colleague, CBS News anchor Jeff Glor. Last week, Jeff inducted into the Buffalo Broadcasters Association Hall of Fame. Jeff grew up in the suburbs of Buffalo, and the association recognizes Western New York natives for their contributions to broadcasting. But Jeff's career almost took a different path. You saw in the video there that I, I did go to Syracuse as a pre-dentistry major. Uh, and my uncle and grandfather were both dentists. My uncle's here tonight. I, I love my, my dentist relatives, but I'm so thankful that I'm not here accepting the Golden Tooth Award. <laughs> and we're happy you didn't accept the Golden Tooth either. You made the right choice becoming a journalist and a darn good one. And that Jeff joins me now. Great to see you and congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Could you imagine if I became a dentist? <laughs> well, you'd probably be pretty good at that, too. Um, let's talk about uh, this. I mean, you're not even 50. You're already in a Hall I know, of Fame. What is this? I mean, I said it the usually same means thing. at least it wasn't a uh, career I, achievement or I said know, the same, yes. lifetime achievement award. But that's nice, though, especially from, you know, to get, get, to get it from somebody as, as prestigious, you know, as the Buffalo Broadcasters Association, this is a, a nice feather in your There camp. was no better no better place I mean I was I was shocked when they called me um, but it was and there's no better time or place to get it from your hometown yeah um, I guess there would be a better time, which is like 20 years from now. I've yeah. actually like, still, accomplished more. Well, it's nice enough when you can remember it. And you're actually, <laughs> yeah. um, but when you get that call, um, does it make you kind of sit back and say to yourself, wow, looking at some of the things you've done? Because I, you know, I know you're a modest guy, but you have achieved a lot in your career. And as I mentioned, you're not even 50 yet. Yeah. Um, so you've, you've packed a lot in into a uh, yeah, it did. That it most did, people would love it, to have for their entire career. It did make me think back, a, a, like reflect a little bit, and I don't know how I think about, feel about that yeah. right now. So it was 10 years in local news. I worked in Syracuse. I've never actually worked in the Buffalo market. Yeah. I worked in local news in Syracuse. I worked in local news in Boston, and then I came to CBS uh, Network 16 years ago. So yeah, I guess. Goes by, huh? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> having been, having for been both here, of us, having been here since '04 <laughs> as well, it seems like we both kind of, you know, yeah. graduated through the system together along different paths. But um, your family was there, Nicole. I'm assuming the kids. They all. So the kids actually stayed. were in Connecticut because they're in school. Okay. I would have been taking them out of school for a yeah. couple of days. But we had a couple tables. It was my mom, my dad, and a whole bunch of neighbors. Like all these people I grew up with, and it was just really. It was really cool. It was a. It was a. It was. They did a really nice job with it. It was a big event, yeah. um, and I look at the line of people who have gotten this award before. These are all the people like I grew up watching. Well, a big Russ, I presume, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, uh, and it's pretty amazing. You know, w you, the, the people from Buffalo: Wolf Blitzer, Tim Russert, yep. um, Rick Janaret, who was a longtime uh, broadcaster for the Sabers, who just passed away recently. But it was sort of like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you get back to Buffalo a lot. I know you're a huge Buffalo Bills fan as we kind of shift to sports here because I said we're not just going to talk about career yeah, stuff because yeah, you are still yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. This is not a, a lifetime achievement <laughs> yeah. award. Uh, let's talk about those Bills real quick. Um, nice to see them finally put up a big win last weekend. The first week, well, two big wins two weeks in a row against the Raiders and now uh, the Commanders. I think we've outscored. Our opponents, what, 75 to 13 the past two games? We're just going to forget about the Jets game. But yeah, no, what, but as you know, though, when you have to go through the AFC, you have to go through the Chiefs still. And now with what's going on in, in Chief Kingdom right now, well, the Dolphins, one thing. I'm talking about the whole Taylor Swift effect because now oh, yeah. the Chiefs definitely have. I mean, that, you talk about news, sports news. I mean, the, the Travis Kelsey, uh, Taylor Swift combination. I saw that we were away <laughs> over the weekend, and I saw them, like, leaving. I said, why is she there in the first place? And then I saw her her and Travis Kelsey walk out, and I'm like, wait a minute, because you know, I'm slow on these things. <laughs> yeah. Very slow. Well, Jeff, no, wait a minute. They're dating. <laughs> this is pop culture right okay. here. This is all part of Saturday. So, all right. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be, I mean, honestly interesting to see how it affects the whole Chiefs, like, yeah. I mean, because this is like the whole mail story. I now know, it's a big old distraction. On the organization. And real quickly before we let you go, I know you'll love your team on Saturday morning as far as projecting ahead with what's coming up. I mean, you travel a lot. You guys do so many different segments for the Saturday show. How much are you enjoying that role? It's great. I'm, I'm actually, as soon as I leave here, I'm going to be shooting a dish segment in the city here with the um, chefs who put together Atomics and Attaboy. They have a new restaurant, Naro. Yeah. So, yeah, between authors, uh, chefs, everything else, they let us go on the adventures we want to go on.
great to have that kind of platform, right? Yeah. And the support. Hey, good to see you. Congratulations, good to see you. Good to see you. really. Uh, next time, and next, next Hall of Fame, to be right Ken Moore East, or, Ken Moore East, or whatever. <laughs> the pride of Ken Moore East, another Hall of Fame. And yes, how about this couch? You talk about withstanding the test of time. This thing's been around longer than both of us. Oh, boy. You can catch Jeff Glor every Saturday morning with Dana Jacobson and Michelle Miller, 7 to 9 a.m., right here on CBS2. And we will be right back.